Guys, ammunition for this video has been provided by Brown Works Inc., manufacturer of fine custom handgun grips. If you guys are looking for very unique, very customized handgun grips for your favorite handgun, contact Mark at Brown Works Inc., link in the description below, and create something beautiful for your favorite handgun and don't forget to tell them wyoming gun project sent you what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so as you can see we have the brand new release from smith and wesson this is the bodyguard 2.0 this is their newest release in the 380 game and guys this is, so far, I have not shot it. We are going to see the first shots together. Uh, I did an unboxing. I pretty much try to stick to a protocol when I buy a new gun. I get it home, I unbox it. I, I usually clean it, but this one was pretty good. So I just kind of wiped off some of the oil and stuff like that. Um, and then I film the tabletop and take it out to the range to get the first shots and just see how it performs. Now, sometimes the range portions have to wait till the next day or a couple days later uh, because I'm not able to get out to the, ra to the range, which is even in my backyard. It's just sometimes I got family stuff. I got, it's really hot or whatever. But, so, but normally I'll film the tabletop. I'll pack everything up and go out back and film the uh, live fire range portion because I like to keep my thoughts fresh when I do it. And this is, I don't want to say it's a game changer, but it's close. There is, if you've seen, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen a lot of coverage of this thing. As I'm filming this, I think it's been out about a week, maybe two. And so far it's getting some pretty good reviews and I know why. Now, I found this on uh, Classic. I got an email saying, hey, we got Bodyguard 2.0s back in stock because their initial batch, they sold out so darn quick, I couldn't even get one. So the minute it hit, boom, I hit the, the buy now button, psh, sent it on out. If you're not sure what this is, this is a compact 380. Uh, this is much better, much more improved over the original bodyguard which was frankly a piece of junk it really was it was just crap but this so far and again i haven't fired it yet assuming that it is accurate and reliable they have done an awesome job with this so let's take a look at it it comes with one 10 round so you would get 11 in the gun and one 12 round so you would get 13 in the gun so if you carried a spare magazine Let's say you carried it with the 12 rounder, ready to go first. You have 23 rounds of 380 in a very compact package. Now, it's not as small as like some of the micro 380s, like the Taurus TCP. And I think the bodyguard, the first bodyguard is a little bit smaller than this. It's not uh, as small as the micro ones, but it is very small. So, as you can see, it has new front and rear cocking serrations. So the old ones had kind of small ones on the slide here. This is almost like a shrunk down m &P or a shield uh, in 380. And again, if it works, it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, yeah, they're pretty aggressive. I like how they go up on the slide right here. Pretty aggressive serrations for you to grab hold onto, which is fantastic. Orange front sight with the tritium insert, so it is a night sight. Rear sight is serrated, but it is wide. So look at look at the amount of space in there. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this, that's what your sight picture would be. This is for very fast combat shooting so that you can acquire your sights correctly. And as long as it's anywhere in that wide rear sight, you're going to score hits. These are not target sights. So I have a feeling this might be a little bit more difficult to shoot accurately on uh, in the accuracy portion because 
you're going to try to float the site in between that wide but that's what it's for target sites will be much tighter so you can get fine adjustments and fine site pictures this is pointed out there as long as you see orange somewhere in this area like that you're going to score a hit um, on you know a threat and that's why they do that because this is not a target pistol this is a self-defense pistol they did do the little angle the 90 degree angle thing on there so you can rack it on your belt for one-handed reloads and manipulation uh they have aggressive texturing up here on the front and the back for your support hand um they got nice aggressive texturing on the takedown lever it's pretty aggressive on the grip it's not aggressive to the point where it's like rough sandpaper but it's fairly aggressive they got the new trigger oh god thank god they got rid of those crappy triggers man and it's not too bad I mean, it's pretty good, actually, for a little striker fired 380 trigger. It's not bad at all. Um, it is only, it does only have the slide stop slide release on the left side of the pistol for a right hand shooter. So it's not ambi. The mag release is on the right. However, this is swappable. So you can change it to the other side for left handed. I want you to take a look at these little... Um, bulges right there that's I think that's a disconnect um, for so they had to bulge that out a little bit as they did right here in the frame they did little bulges for internal stuff now I did take this apart and I did have a little bit of a problem getting it back together uh, if you don't line up the recoil spring perfectly it will lock up. There's a loaded chamber indicator, by the way. It will kind of lock up and give you fits. Um, so I'll, I'll try to take it apart and show that here. Um, but first, I want to compare it to a very popular, very popular 380, and that is the Glock 42. So here is the Glock 42, and as you can see, this gun has had some use finishes wearing off right there uh, i've carried this gun a lot this is a great gun whoa almost dropped there this is a great gun very reliable very accurate it is a fantastic gun however it's about god what is it about 10 years old now maybe more um and its biggest achilles heel is its capacity so you get six plus one six plus one of 380 Whereas with the flush magazine, you get 10 plus one. So you get four extra rounds. And I'm gonna show you the size difference. Let, let, me, put in, let me put in the flush magazines because the, the Glock 42, at least mine, came with two flush fit magazines. So now keep in mind that Smith & Wesson has had 10 years to be able to you know, do this plus or whatever it is. But as you can see, Oh, maybe you can't see. Now you can see. All right. The Bodyguard 2.0 is smaller. It is shorter, thinner, and it is about almost identical height and width in the grip. Might even be a little bit thinner in the grip. But it looks pretty darn, might be a little bit thinner in the grip. But height-wise length width all that kind of stuff it is smaller it is smaller than the glock 42 okay i thought this gun would be a little bit bigger it is not it is smaller in all dimensions except the length might be yeah they're pretty identical now the difference is obviously this one holds 11. this one holds seven okay now if you are diehard glock guy whatever i usually carry this with an extra mag so i get 13 but again you carry this one with the extra mag you get 23 you get 10 extra rounds in a smaller package okay with i'm not going to say it's a better trigger i think the glock 42 oh they're they're similar man they are very similar, but it is a overall smaller gun. So you get four extra rounds in a slimmer, 
shorter gun than the Glock 42. And then if you use the Extendo, you even get, you know. Um, assuming it's as reliable and accurate as the Glock, I, I gotta say the grip feels better. The grip is actually, so here's another thing I gotta point out. Even though they are the same height, right? Let me get this back in camera. Even though they are the same height, look at the distance between the trigger guard here, the undercut on the trigger guard, and the bottom of the gun. And I'm gonna show you, with my hands, I get the pinky. Now, I've practiced shooting like this. This doesn't bother me. A lot of people, it bothers them. I'm like, I can't have my pinky hanging off. Well, bullseye shooters, they'll, they'll usually shoot with just this one finger and a thumb on there and let the gun, anyway. Um, as you can see, I can only get two full fingers on the Glock 42 because of this distance here. Even though these guns are the same height, look at the distance difference. You're talking almost a half an inch. Look at that for the trigger guard. And they undercut it way up in there, kind of bulged it out a little bit to fill your hands. So look at what I can get almost, I can get a half a finger, almost a full finger with the flush fit magazine. With the flush fit magazine, just because of the way they contoured, let me move this over, they contoured this trigger guard and went way up deep right here with the undercut. It's fantastic. Now, if you wanna put the 12 round in, you get a full, there's even some overhanging on my hand, you get a full firing grip. And this is super comfortable and super controllable. But if you're looking at the competition, and, and I think they were going for this market. I think you're going to see a lot of clones or a lot of pistols trying to achieve this size with this capacity. Um, we're going to take it out to the range and we're going to shoot it here real soon after we get the, the weight. And uh, I'll probably do a video later on comparing the two. But in this one, we're just going to shoot. We're just going to do a live fire portion with this gun. Um, but I mean, wow. So let's get the way. Oh, you know what? No, let me, let me disassemble it first because I told you I had that issue. All right. Now the spring is kind of, it's, it's kind of, you just kind of lift it out. It doesn't seem like there's a discernible shelf. I don't know if that's just this version or what, but it's kind of, see, I'm, I'm having to, Fitz trying to get this spring back in and it gave me Fitz trying to now yeah see now I can't even get the the spring back in to get it to sit in there so this is what I noticed when I took it apart to clean it I was like what the heck is going on This might make this video a lot longer than it, it's supposed to be. But now I can't even get the now I can't even get the spring back in there. What the heck is going on? See, this is this is an issue I was dealing with trying to get it back together. I don't know if it's just this particular gun because there we go. But it doesn't seem like there's a discernible shelf. And then you have to really, really line it up there. Let's see if it does, if I can get it this first time. I kind of got it and I wiggled it a bit and then there we go, I got it. It took me half a dozen times because the spring, the recoil spring kept hitting too early in that little channel and I had to wiggle it and line it up. It seemed like it was good that time. But yeah, so. I mean, the thing even looks fantastic, guys. Assuming it shoots and it is reliable, this is no wonder this thing is so popular. I, I do want to say one thing before we get out the range, because I know this is a long one. Smith & Wesson is still putting billboards all over their guns. Smith & Wesson, capable caution, capable firing, bodyguards, you know. God, you can cut that down. Oh, oh. I know this is long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a long tabletop part. We'll get out and shoot. But I just wanted to show you real quick 
the, let me put the extended mag in here. Now this is the Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. And look how, I'm thinking this gun is maybe the size of a 30 Super Carry. Heck no. Look at the difference. It is quite a bit smaller than this gun, even in the grip and everything. So I'm trying to give you a size comparison because I think most people are kind of confused at how big this gun is. It's not big at all. It is very small. Um, as you saw, smaller than a Glock 42. So let's just get a weight. Let's get the trigger pull. And then let's get it out to the range and see how it shoots. Now, this is, we'll do it with the 12 round magazine. This is unloaded, of course. And I don't use, I don't do it 9.87 ounces with the magazine, 11.78 ounces. And some people are like, why don't you put, it's going to be more with ammo. Okay. What would you like me to use? The 95 grain, the 100 grain, the 98 grain, the 105, whatever. You know, if I put ammunition on the scale and it's a hundred grains, somebody's going to go, well, what's the weight with 95 grains? So I'm just giving you a, a, a basic weight of the gun empty with the heaviest magazine. So let's see, just get a trigger pull. 4.44. Four point nine five. Now that's not right. One zero six. It's not that light. Four point zero four. So it's probably about four and a half pounds. There's the take up right there. There's the wall, and then it breaks. It's actually a really nice trigger. There's the reset wall, and then it breaks. So let me stop talking because this has been long enough. Let's get out to the range and just see how it shoots. Okay, so as you can see, we are back out on the range. I think I had a storm coming in, so I got to hurry this up. Uh, we have the Bodyguard 2.0. These are the first shots out of this gun. So we don't have a clue where it's hitting. If it's reliable, you and I are going to see it together. We got our C-Zone Steel down there at... 25. I think this one's loaded with PPU. So we got the 12 round mag in with the little extension there. It gives you the full firing grip. Um, so we have 13 in the gun. I got a spare mag in my pocket and we're just going to, just going to fire it up. See how it shoots, man. All right, so as you can see, it fed all 13 shots. Um, first impressions are, at least with that mag, it shoots great. It shoots comfortable. I was able to hit uh, the C-Zone Steel at 25 with these sights that I pointed out where the rear is very wide, so you got a lot of floating in there, uh, but the front sight's real easy to see. So yeah man that's great so far let's uh let's keep shooting it man Okay, so we have the 10 round magazine full that gives you, at least me, a almost two and a half finger, almost three finger full size grip on it. Let's see how easy it is to control with that. Uh, one thing I will say about these magazine guys, which is the same thing I experienced with my Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry, the last couple of rounds, very difficult to get in the magazine. But once you get them in there, let them sit for a couple days, they'll smooth right out. It'll be just fine. So let's see how she shoots from here.
accuracy portion of this review. We have three rounds of PPU 380. I think it's 100 grain, maybe it's 95. I don't know. But we have our 380. We have our two shooting C's. I think we'll shoot the top one with this. The bottom one I'm reserving for another gun. So let's go back seven yards and just see how the bodyguard shoots. Been totally reliable so far. Let's see how accurate it is. Say that's pretty damn good for this little guy. Shoots a little bit low for me. Uh, I was putting the orange dot front sight right on the orange dot, whoops, of the shooting scene, and it hits a little bit low, but that's a nice tight group. So windage looks like it's excellent. I'm not gonna argue with that, especially out of this gun. Guys, this gun is very, very shootable, but we're gonna uh, you know, dive into that more back in the final thoughts. So let's go and get the final thoughts. All right, folks, final thoughts on the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 2.0. Ooh, the wind's kicking up. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bodyguard 2.0. It's fantastic. I'm telling you right now. I know, I know there's a lot of, you know, big companies. A lot of people are jaded when they watch YouTube reviews of a bunch of different products, but especially firearms. And as soon as all the big channels get a hold of the new gun and launch date and all sort of stuff, but let me tell you, this is about a week, I'm feeling it's about a week to two weeks after launch. I bought this gun with my own money, okay? I don't have any affiliation with Smith & Wesson or anything. I do have a fantastic ammo spo sponsor. Shout out to Mark Brownworks. Go check out his fine custom handgun grips. So I am super grateful for him. But I do not have any affiliation with any of these guns. I pay for these guns with my own money. So you're gonna get an honest review. You saw on the tabletop how I struggled to get the spring back in and how I was explaining to you the other night, you have to wiggle it to get it. You know, I don't know if anybody else has experienced that and it could be user error. Although I have a lot of guns, been shooting a lot of guns a lot of years and, I'm, and a lot of my guns are not as difficult to put back together as this little guy. But I did get it back together and it has worked flawlessly. It is accurate, as you saw in the accuracy portion. It is very comfortable to shoot. With this 12 round grip, you get a full firing grip. This thing is fantastic. I'm, I'm just telling you right now. Again, I don't have to say these nice things because they gave me the gun and it, you know, you saw it. It, it freaking shoots, man. Um, you do get a little bit, I don't know if that's coming through. Maybe you get some powder burns right here. If you shoot like I do, fingers forward, powder comes out of the all in here where you're shooting. So you might get a little bit of powder burns and extended range sessions, but this thing is very comfortable to shoot and easy to shoot. And so far it's reliable, accurate. This is a win. No wonder this thing is getting a lot of buzz all over the internet. Um, as I predicted from extended distances, those sites are a little bit more difficult to get lined up because of the space, but that's not their intent. They're not target sites. You probably won't be taking 25 yard shots, but you're still able to make them. It's just, if you are not really lined up in there, you'll have misses like I did in this video. So guys, there it is. If you are looking for a pocket, which is, it's a little bit bigger than a pocket as I showed you the tabletop, it is smaller than a 42. So if you carry a Glock 42 in your pocket, consider one of these because you get much more firepower. But uh, yeah, there it is, guys. I think this one is really a win. I think Wiss, uh, Smith & Wesson scored a huge hit with this one, especially over the old bodyguard, which is just junk. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.